YouTube. It's Brother Dennis. And as always today, I give God all the glory for blessing us with another day. It's Saturday, uh, I think July 27th. And we're going to do our first uh, real official training toss. As you, most of you know, there's three um, phases that I guess to train in your birds. The first one is just letting them um, become settled and hop around the loft. The second phase is when they loft fly and route out. And then the third phase, which is what we're starting today, is tossing. So the birds will start going into various tosses from different directions, but we're gonna mainly focus. We're gonna do east, west, north, south first, and then we're gonna focus southwest because that's where we're racing, mostly south, but southwest from where I live at. So what we're gonna do today, I'm about a mile and a half from my house. I'm at the uh, Princeton Little League baseball field, and I'm literally like a mile from my house a mile and a half now ha most of my birds like the old team the 18 26 of them they did a one little practice toss from the behind my house like a quarter mile not even a quarter mile like a couple hundred yards um so this is the main this is gonna be the first toss for my young for my b team and this is the main the first main toss i was just telling my wife before i got out the car the, the most important toss is this very first one to me because this is where all my anxiety and stuff comes from is just this first toss did they range enough do they know their way home and um we're starting with 45 birds a day so i got 30 in this one crate and 15 in the top crate i just didn't feel like lugging around two of these big crates hopefully i will have to look hopefully i don't lose any birds and um i'll look around couple crates but right now we're gonna do it on these two crates so we got 15 up here and we got 30 right here and we're gonna try to they're letting them sit for like five minutes and we're gonna try to um get the release what'd you say yep mom mommy, mommy said come home so my wife always likes riding with me and doing the tosses so that's where you fail to realize sometimes is that you you're in, like you really put a lot of time and energy in like the racing pigeons or whatever, but you actually your family's invested too because they they're right there with you whether you realize it or not. So my wife is um she's invested and she loves the birds to come home. She, we all love the birds to come home. So they all really felt good when I picked them up. They're feisty. They want to go. I've only, I only drove a mile. I didn't put no water in here. I sh maybe I should have, but I just really snatched them out the coop, threw them in here, and it's a really beautiful day. It's been raining so much, but today's a beautiful day. So uh, I'm a little hesitant about opening this crate because, you know, it is what it is, but this is the moment of truth. So here we go, the moment of truth. We're gonna let them go. I'm gonna try to capture as much of the release as I can. I'm gonna let this bottom crate go first. And um, to God be the glory. Come home, guys. Come on. So, they, because I'm standing here, they're not going to come out. But these guys, they'll come out. There they go. There they go. There they go. So, there they go. Come on, Grizzle. Come on. Last one. All right. So, they're up. Of course, they go right behind the only set of trees. There's a couple that are by themselves, I guess. They're trying to find the main group. So the main group went literally behind the trees there. Um, let's see. I see him looping behind the tree. There's Grizzle. Grizzle's by... Uh, so. That's not the way home. So if they go that way, we... We'll be out of a whole team. There they go. There is a power line right there. So hopefully none of them hit it. That's why I tried to release some facing this other way. Oh, give me a second. I'm putting my crazy stuff back together. Um, and uh, I'm just going to leave it on live. I'm just going to leave it and film. It's going to be a minute. I'm going to ride home. Let me see. All right, there you go. There's the 
the summer blue. I'm trying to get y'all. They're over them trees. I'm trying to get y'all. They're, they're, they're literally behind this one group of trees. That's so discouraging that y'all can't see them. Um, we're going to lose some because some are just straggling. I can see some of them aren't. They're not um, kitted up. The main group is over behind them trees. There's five or six of them right there. There they go. There's the main group. See them? They're circling. They're circling. There's the main group. There's the main group. There's the main group. There's the main group. You know what? I didn't even open my loft yet. I haven't opened my loft. But there they go. Home is kind of that way. There they go. A couple stragglers. A couple stragglers. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to figure it out. I don't know if y'all can see them or not. I'm looking right at them. Uh, and I, I, yeah, they just disappeared. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can do standing out here whining. So, we'll jump in the car. I think there's one up there that's a straggler by itself. So, all right, well, we let 45 go. We're gonna see how many we see how many we end up with. So let's uh, get y'all. Right, let's go. Alright guys, gotta go home. Well, our birds made it to the Florida Derby. So that's a blessing. And we just got to uh Start a parade that we have a race team after today. Today is the very first talk of talks to me is the hardest one. It really is. It's like it's like sending your kids to school. It's like it really is. It's like the first day of school. And um, I'm definitely nervous. I'm definitely do you see them up there anywhere? So we're gonna leave it in real time. Like whoever wants to click off, click off, whoever wants to Fast forward it down, fast forward it down, but we're going to um, uh, hope this is the way home. I'm so nervous, I don't care if my way home. So, I don't see him anywhere. I don't know if that's good or bad, but literally about a mile, a mile and a half to get home. Um, I actually didn't open my loft. I mean, I want them to make it. I want them to find their way. Like, I, I want them to find their way. And also, I want them to learn their like learn their way. Like, they, they, they need to learn their way. And um, there's no more, uh, I guess, babysitting or sugarcoating. I mean, they're grown. I mean, they gotta get it. They gotta get it. It's only like literally, it's a mile to, from. It's literally, it's like. The holder doesn't hold it straight no more. It's worn out. I need a new one. So, I'm gonna make it home here, guys, in one second, and then we're just gonna wait and see. If they make it, they come home. Yeah, gotta have faith. Like I said, most of them, uh, two thirds of them, 20 something of them, get a, a one little practice toss. But my whole B team, this is their first time out. So, on a, in a basket. And uh, we're gonna see. See how the homing instinct goes. See if they're, I hope I didn't take them too far for their first time. I literally took them like a mile and a half. Nothing for birds that are gonna fly three, four, five hundred miles in their life. As far as physical condition wise, it's just can they find their way home? Can they find their way home? That is the question. Inquiring minds want to know. So far, no birds. I can see my house from here. No birds. So.
back and wait. What are you gonna do? Gonna get a car running. Uh, yep, yeah, baby's gonna make it home. My wife knows my I'm gonna my anxiety is gonna is like at 150 right now. This is his first toss is so hard for me. It's like it really is. And I, I was gonna go live, but I decided against it. Um, in case I zap out. Well, I guess I can always turn the live off and zap out after the after the I don't know. Um No birds. So yesterday, uh, it got rained again yesterday morning, yesterday evening. I came out here and I cleaned these feeders up here for them. Whoa, big bee in there. Like, you know, one of them carpenter bees or whatever. All right, guys. So, I don't know if that's one of my birds right there or not. Is that one of my birds coming home? I think he landed in the tree. I think your bird seen me and landed in the tree. I'm not sure. But I'm going to open up. Alright, so I got the... Sorry about the filming, guys. So... I think I seen a bird in the tree. I think I see some more by the one by the school. This is it's always the hardest part, but there's one in that tree, I think. Let my dogs out for me, so I just fed them this morning. My dog is pregnant. Come on, mommy. I just don't want them to scare my birds off, attacking them and stuff. Uh, uh, come on. Okay. All right. Guys are seeing it live time. And you're glad to say smell a vision because my chickens stink. Like they really do stink. Let me get some food ready here. All the water and wetness. Oh, that, there's one. That's one of my birds right there. And that's one of Joe's birds. Back already. One made it. That's one of Joe's birds. That I got from him. That's incredible. I know this live, I mean, this video is probably going to suck, but I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the place, but at least I'm giving it to you raw. Hey, bud. Yeah, that's one of Joe's birds. He's got the blue band on. And there's an older, he's one of my older birds. So hopefully we get one bird back at least. Oh, praise God for that. All right. He's back. Like, he ain't playing. I'm put some food in here for these guys. He didn't trap in. But he's back. Okay. Right now, we're back. I'm sorry about the camera, guys. I'm by myself. I, it's like I'm a one man camera guy. I'm trying to do all this. So I apologize. I know that y'all are going to be tuning out because I'm making you dizzy and all that. I'm not gonna feed that much, just a little bit. It's hot out. So, I'm just gonna put enough. I think I'm just gonna put one feeder in. One, one feeder. Right now, um, in each kennel, or in each area. I 
scraped this last night and that's how much poop is here already. Okay, guys. Hey, guys. I know if I didn't toss them. They haven't been out yet. I haven't seen them in the aviary, but I'm going to push them out in the aviary another day or two. There goes, there goes another bird. There's some black birds up there. I don't know what they are. I'm not a good bird person, which is crazy. It's like pigeons. <whistles> Grizzle. There goes Grizzle. I see another bird landing. Come on, guys. Oh, there goes a whole bunch. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've seen a big bunch of them. There goes one. Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I feel so much comfort now knowing that they at least can find their ways from a mile. There goes, that's Joe's Savior. That's Joe's birth. Look, guys. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Look at that. Oh my God, that's why I raise pigeons. That's why I have pigeons right there. It's that anxiety, and then when you see them, oh, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord have mercy. Okay, new beginning. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Get down, boy. Come on. It's not about you right now. There goes one. That's Adrian P. Bird gonna trap. Yep. Come on, guys. Wanna get some trappers. Come on. Good birdies. It's okay. Come on. Man, they're hot. It's been humid. It's kind of, it's like 80 degrees out here right now. It's not that hot, but they need to. Yeah. I just let them trap in either side they want. I got them all mixed up. They can trap in any side they want. Praise God. One or two, I'm already trapped. And they're starting to trap. Praise God. Amen. Man, that's the first. The very first one is the one that's roughest for me. It, it really is. And I, feel, I, I know they're not all probably going to make it back. I, I, I ain't going to speak that into existence, but being realistic, you know that you, you gotta how does they say you let the basket call your birds so when you start tossing them the best ones are, are gonna survive the, the uh the training so we started with 45 and um you see they still for them to fly a mile they just really it really just getting warmed up so that's why they're all sitting around not trapping because it's really nothing for them to fly a mile it's really not my thing is I don't like them hanging on the outside because of the hawk trouble. We haven't had too much. I've been really calm about flying my birds. I haven't been over flying them. I haven't been having them out all the time. So like to try to keep the predators down. So like I said, it's been raining. and today's one of the most beautifulest days in the last week and a half. So they're probably just wanting a little sunshine, man. I don't blame them tired of being soggy need to dry out that's why i had to flop them early this morning i wanted the humidity to die down they're going to the water someone went to the water i see in there 
so man I know they're not I know they're not trapping right away um which is not ideal but come on guys I don't know if that helps or not come on get your food y'all hungry calling it now that one bird the one that um it's a it's a blue bar pied i'm calling it now that's gonna be my best bird from the loss of joe lily loft now that guy there that's a cock and you see how he flew over there to the roof and now other birds are gonna follow him because he he wants to be uh dominant and he's like stubborn. He's like, you know, if he goes in, they all go in. It's almost like he's their leader. Come on. That bird right there is gonna be my best bird. The white head just went in or oh, going in right now. White flights, white head. That bird's gonna be my best bird from the loss for Joe. There goes another, there they go, see? When you start going in. Come on, guys. Well, at least we'll have a couple left to toss. Hallelujah. All right. At least we'll have some left. You might not have quite 45. Because I saw some stragglers. Some that wasn't with the main group. But man, I, man, they did that mile like they did that. They did their thing, man. Y'all did your thing. I don't have high hopes for any of my white birds as far as making it through the year. I just don't. I just think that they have a target on their back. And I'm happy that I got 90 or 80% blue bars. I actually am. That guy right there on the roof, on the, on the walk-in, that's the guy that had his chest ripped out. Right there. He wants to be in the camera. You wanna be in the camera? You gonna be a daddy next week? You gonna be a daddy? Huh? You gonna be a daddy? Brimstone. You gonna be a daddy. These dogs are such lovable dogs, man. They just want your they just wanna love on you and they wanna jump on you. But you know, um, I try to keep them down because of my wife. I don't want them jumping up on my wife, jumping up on my kids, my grandkids. So that's why when you hear me yelling at them, telling them to stay down, though that's the reason why. Is I, I don't want them jumping up, only getting used to jumping up on people because I got small grandchildren and, and them dogs are 50, 60 pounds. They'll knock a little kid down and then the kid will grow up scared of dogs. And you know, I hate to have to get rid of my dogs or um, put one down for harming a child accidentally but these dogs are, are so um their temperament they'll never intentionally hurt a child i guarantee that we got a couple still flying like flying laps there's what what yeah i got some flying laps i got that mile wasn't enough for them okay buddy okay so we're gonna get some um we're gonna video is almost 25 minutes guys and uh i'll let you know I'll post in the comments like how many made it, how many didn't, like what the total count is. We started with 45. Like I said, 45 is the count. That's what we started with. And um, what I'll do is I'll put this, uh, once I get off the phone, I'll close the um, this bottom. I don't know. I close this up like this. I'll show y'all. I'll leave the top open. And then what I do that for is I think it makes some of them feel better, especially with my dogs out. I think it makes them feel like they're more secure. They could drop down in. Plus, I can go in the house and not have to worry about because Hope is pregnant now. She can't jump up there anymore, but she, she where'd she go? She would jump up there and snatch a bird off that platform like it was nothing. There she is. 
What are y'all guys doing over here? You got a trap over there. You got a trap. Why aren't you trapping? See, this is what this is vulture food right here. Or hawk bait. What do you want to call it? Food is in there, so the birds are already in there. They're, they're getting food. I'm not feeding them no more. Right, mommy? I know I gotta get better with the camera work. I, I, you know, I'm just a vlogger, man. I don't make videos. I don't do editing. She's gonna pop soon, guys. And then we'll have um, American Bullies. Great pets. You wanna be, there'll be show quality. ABKC registered. So I'll make a video about that. My guy's up there, look, drying his wings out. Well, he's sunning. Out. They're sunning. Hopefully, I'll hawk those snatch them up off here. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I see my babies have made it back. My first, my, my B team. I see a lot of orange bands. It's okay, mommy. Still got birds flying. See, I think they feel better a lot, a lot better about that. Safer trapping. This guy's flying. I'm trying to get him on camera for you. So we got to work on the trapping. We see that, but they made it home. And once they all make it home, I'll come out here. And I'll uh I'll do the um I love that black bird. I don't know why, but I, I, I really like that dark bird right there that's going in. It was going in. Plus the birds are in moat. I didn't pull any feathers. We don't we don't race Fayetteville don't race until the end of uh September, beginning of October. So I just do the natural, natural system. My birds, my oldest, my B team, my A team, they should already be good by then. And you know, that's why I banded. I put orange bands on my um my younger birds. So when I uh so uh when I go to chip ring them, and as I'm chip ringing them and I'm logging them in, I can I'll log in. I'll I'll know by their band numbers, the the the, the sequences, which birds are the youngest birds, the B team, and which are the older birds. And um obviously I'm gonna focus on the older birds, uh racing them out first. You know. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully I have more than 25 or 30 left, and hopefully by the racing season, and hopefully all um, of them get a chance to race. So, but at this point, we got a lot of birds in there trapped in. So, we don't got 45 yet, because obviously there's some still out bouncing around. But I don't want to try to get a little closer so I can see. And it's funny, it's funny because most of the older birds, they trap into their side. They like their side. They like their side. Yeah. And there you go. So, I'm getting water. I'm trying to get y'all a good shot without going in there. Aggravating them. And yeah. So we got at least, I'd say 25 to 30 in, maybe. Oh man, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just so happy that the first toss is out the way. Ah, high anxiety on that. Hey guys. I just don't have enough subscribers and I just not motivated enough as far as YouTube go to have a dog channel and a pigeon channel separate. So it's just, it's just new beginning. You know, it's dogs, it's pigeons, it's just God, it's whatever, it's life. So we're at 30 minutes, guys. You can see I got about 10 birds that want to be hard-headed. And um, they better not go for that water bowl because she will, she will crack them. I don't know if they want a bath or what, but she will crack them. What are y'all doing? I don't want y'all over here. 
I don't want y'all over here. That guy's a baby. He's got an orange ring on. He's a younger bird, I should say. I don't want y'all over here. Come on. You will get eaten. That's one thing about having the dogs out is they know not to land on the ground. They should. So if they're that, if they're that dumb at this age and she gets one of them, and it is, she's pregnant, so she's not as fast as she should be. All right, man. To God be the glory. We're at 30 minutes. We made it through our first toss. I'll put in the comments how many made it back later on. Uh, probably this evening or whatever. I'll put how many make it back. Hopefully, you know, these guys don't get picked off by hawks by not trapping. But I'm quite sure as the distances get further and further that they'll trap a lot better. At least that's what I'm hoping. You know, so um, yeah, so we can get these last eight or ten birds in, um, then we'll know how many made it, right? We'll know how many made it. So they're getting confused. They wanna, they wanna hang out and be like like kids. What kids do? They see the other birds over there, so. Make friends, not enemies. Peace and hair grease.